So first of all, a tiny bit of my background. Basically, I've been focusing on health, fitness, performance, etc. Since the, since the beginning of the pandemic. So basically since 2020. And basically since that year, I've noticed that I have pretty terrible posture, basically, <laughs> among other things. And so I tried many different ways of improving it. Basically by doing exercise in general, by trying to to increase my muscle strength, uh, by trying to increase my hypertrophy, etc. And I also tried the cl classical stretches that the physiotherapist will give you. For example, no, you know, when you are hunched over like this, it's basically because your your chest is tight, so you should try to stretch that, but I try to stretch that. No, when you have forward pelvic tilts, it's actually because your glutes are weak, well, I tried to increase the strength of my glutes. Surprise, surprise, it didn't work at all. And I believe this is actually a common experience. So after that, and basically trying it religiously and didn't, don't, don't having any results, I then tried some more advanced stuff, basically PRI stuff, basically this, the breathing exercises, the guys at Postural Restoration Institute give you. So I will lay down, practice all the different type of breathing exercises, etc. I tried it again and again and again, and basically didn't have any lasting results. I also tried, for example, focusing on my posture all the time. Well, some say that it is some neurological patterns that got ingrained in your brain. Basically, you got used to, to standing in the wrong way, so you should try to focus all the time on doing it the correct way and so hopefully after some time you will just naturally stand correctly. Well I'm actually a very self-conscious person but in the good sense that I basically aware of my body, of my face etc all the time. So obviously I focus on mewing pretty much all the time and apart from that I focus on trying to stand tall of trying to balance my two sides or being symmetric, etc. etc. I tried that all the time, and I mean all the time, 24-7. And basically I will notice that the second I wasn't paying attention to that, basically I reverted back to my old patterns, you know. So I tried all of that and basically kinda gave up <laughs> because I don't know, I tried so many things and just couldn't find an answer. Obviously, I also try to change my habits in general. For example, trying not to sit down for long periods of time, trying to to get up and walk, etc., etc., all that kind of stuff. I actually wasn't that inactive in general, but I still had all this terrible posture. And even when I became even more active, going for racking or walks, doing exercise, etc etc it didn't change a thing so nowadays i ask the question why if we look at the at our posture that gave us such bad stability such bad looks such bad breathing mechanics etc etc why would the body allow that you know i mean it must have a good reason to to stand in that kind of posture to trying to to comp to compensate for something you know and nowadays what I think happened was that via some pulling, I was finally able to improve my craniofacial structure, as I always say, and my symmetry in general. And I believe my body was actually compensating from it, you know. Basically nowadays we, are, we all are underdeveloped. We all have asymmetries. We all have a lack of craniofacial development because of our modern lifestyle. And, you know, it makes sense that because of that, our body wouldn't actually develop correctly and we wouldn't develop a correct posture because of that. So, for example, sorry, this isn't the most professional, but for example, let's pretend this is my body. This is my skull, sorry, and this is my body. You know, in a perfect world when my skull is perfectly symmetrical, perfectly developed, etc., my, bo my body will just follow it, will just uh, be below it and stabilize it, but in perfect concordance. 
but the moment my skull starts to, to move like this, which actually happens, for example, one side of the maxilla is more forward, in my case, for example, or, and the other one is more up, double, I mean, the body just can't stand in the same way. It has to compensate for, for in, a, in some way, because obviously, if we were like this all the time and the body like this, Obviously, you will probably have even more problems, even more issues with your neck pain, with your breathing patterns, etc. that you have now. So obviously, the, the body is basically forced to compensate. And that, in turn, is what creates some muscles to, to be more tight, some muscles to be stretched, your breathing mechanics to compress, etc. That is what creates all of these things. But all of these things are actually symptoms, not the real root cause. The real root cause is actually right here in your skull. Another example. In my before pictures, as I told you, I have a forward head posture. Basically like this. Basically I stand like this all the time and didn't even notice it. What I would actually notice, for example, was when I was sitting like... I was like this sometimes and then I would try to go back to chin tuck. But again, as I told you before, the moment I forgot about that, I will again naturally <laughs> move my head forward. And I believe that was related to my airway. If my shots didn't develop enough forwards, then I will basically have my shots like this and my neck like this. And just from the tone of my voice, <laughs> you can feel that this isn't a very optimal way for breathing and well, of one of, for other functions like speaking. So what happens? The main pr priority of the body is breathing in some moments. It wants you to, to stay alive, to, to breathe as much as possible, to exogenate uh, yourself, etc., etc. So obviously the only solution that you will have in that case will be to bring the shows, the shows forward, bring your head forward. So then you can expand a tiny bit your airway and breathe a little better. The body is compensating from a lack of craniofacial development that happened in your skull. What happened? When I started some pulling forwards, when I started developing my, developing my maxilla and then my shows forward, I, even by, while doing a chin tuck or just standing tall in general, I will have enough of Airway, airway space right here in my trachea and then my body didn't have the need to compensate and then it will be something like all right so even if when he is performing a chin tuck when he doesn't have his head essentially forward i can still breathe comfortably so then obviously I prefer to have a more straight posture because then the neck and the head are more balanced and more stable, etc, etc. So basically I believe that's what happens. You don't have enough craniofacial development overall in your skull and your body is basically forced to compensate for that. Another example, for example, if my, my left maxilla is more upwards than my lower maxilla or my right maxilla is more forward than my lower maxilla. All of this is actually true. I have left torsion and that's what happened to me. Well, again, for if I have some asymmetries in my head and my neck, etc., uh, I mean, some asymmetries in my skull, when again, my body just kind of straight, straight like this because my head will constantly try to fall to a side. So it has to twist in some way. To, it has to develop a scoliosis, etc., etc., to again, to compensate. So basically, these are my thoughts on why postural issues, why walking issues, etc. develop. Again, this is all based on my experience and what sounds logical to me. There are also some studies in this regard that correlate having a small airway with forward head posture. This is not all speculation on my part. But again, obviously, if you go through YouTube, if you ask your physio physiotherapists, etc., they will obviously not agree with me and say that your bad posture develops because of habits. For example, sitting down a, a lot of have a, being inactive, sit, sitting down most of the time, etc., etc. 
But again, I've tried all of the stuff that they commonly recommend and it didn't work for me at all. And surprise, surprise, when I finally attack the, what I believe is a root cause, which is right here in my skull, finally, my postural issues started to fix themselves. Basically, I didn't do anything directly with them. So yeah, I believe this is what happens. All of this is also related to to teeth straightness, to, to the light, etc, etc. All of this is some stuff that actually goes against some dogmas, against some common thinking in some circles about what is commonly teaching in university. But again, this is my experience, this is what I actually believe and what also has happened to a lot of other people. And again, if you actually look at the posture of most of the people, even the professionals that supposedly work on it, that supposedly try to improve it, again, they actually haven't fixed it at all. They all have terrible posture. And what other thing we all have basically in this day and age, we have underdeveloped skulls, which obviously an underdeveloped skull is also more asymmetrical than a correctly developed skull. So again, this is what I actually think. Maybe you don't agree, but I wanted to share my thoughts with you. I wanted to show you my experience. And again, since the last pictures I shared, I have also have continued to, to improve. Again, both in terms of posture, but in, also in terms of airway, in terms of nose breathing, etc., etc. And also in terms of energy and overall attractiveness and health. So obviously, once I have more pictures, I will continue sharing my progress. I will continue sharing my thoughts. So please stay tuned for that. All right. Thank you so much for watching and please make your share your opinions, share your thoughts and any questions you have right here on the comment section. All right.